as he does his presentation, please take notes. So you should have um, note cards with you or pieces of paper with you. Um, I'm going to open up the chat at the end so that my folks at home, you can offer questions and suggestions. And Logan should be able to see them on the chat so he can answer them. And then I'll also ask students here to speak up loudly so Logan, you can hear when they have questions and comments, okay? All right, it's, it's a very different way of doing this, but we'll be okay. We'll be okay. So Mr. Popper's penguins. Penguin is P-E-N-G-U-I-N. -E penguin. Mr. Popper's penguins. I thought, uh, I thought when you were spelling penguin, I thought you were spelling, I thought it was like Mr. Popper penguin. No, just penguin. Okay. All right. Mr. Popper's penguins? Mr. Popper's penguins, yes. I I really nice. All right, Miss Ice Prime Guys, you should have your um, items ready to make suggestions and comments and compliments on your cards. Logan, I'm going to remind you what I remind everyone, and that is make sure you're taking a deep breath and not going too quickly, that you are um, focusing and, and going slowly enough so we can understand it, okay? Don't be nervous. All right, Mr. Logan, when you are ready, we are ready to listen. You may go. Mr. Popper's Penguins by Richard Atwater. Mr. Popper's Penguins by Richard Atwater is a book everyone should read because it is a classic. Even better, it is funny and easy to My favorite thing about the book is that it is about penguins. Mr. Popper's Penguins is about a man named Mr. Popper who loves the Antarctic. His favorite thing in the Antarctic is penguins. An explorer named Dr. Drake sends Mr. Popper a male penguin. Later in the book, the penguin gets sick. Then Mr. Popper gets a female penguin to keep the first one company, which cures the sick penguin. After that, Mr. Popper puts Mr. Popper put the penguins in his basement because he doesn't have enough space to put them on the main level of the house. To make the basement feel like Antarctica, he makes a pool, opens the window to let snow in, and put fish in the pool for the penguins to eat. Then the penguins have chicks. Then the penguins have chicks. Mr. Popper takes his family of penguins to the theater, and they soon become stars that entertain the whole nation. A classic book, in my opinion, is a book that appeals to all ages, can be read multiple times, and has an, uh, has an award, and is funny. I think Mr. Popper's Penguins is a classic because it is enjoyed by a lot of people of many ages. For example, my mom read it about the same time I did, and she liked it. Also, it earned a Newbery Honor Award like some other classics did. In addition, it was, although it was published in 1938, there aren't any weird words in the book and the humor is still funny in our day. Readers can also read it more than once and not get tired of it. Mr. Popper's Penguins is the best book I have ever read because I am an avid birder and enjoy reading about penguins. The type of penguins in the book are a deli penguin. A deli penguins can swim under the water and eat fish. They follow the sun around the Antarctic, since the winter sun never entirely sets. They travel about 13,000 kilometers from their breeding site to their winter foraging ground back again. They have black on their backs and white on their bellies. The males build a nest and the females have to travel across the sea. Colonies can contain a first 360,000 penguins. For those of you who don't know, penguins are birds. Penguins make nests out of rocks because if they laid their eggs in the snow, the eggs would freeze. They reach about 18 inches tall and live for 20 years. Their predators are seals, south polar skuas, big brown birds, and giant petrels, large pelagic birds. On land, a group of penguins is called a waddle, and on water, it is called a raft. Overall, I'd rate this book 10 out of 10. 
It's easy to read for first graders and up. If you like penguins or the theater or funny stories, you should read this book. Awesome. All right. Do you want to go ahead and introduce us to your project? Okay. So I made, I kind of made two small projects. One of them is, okay, so this is, these are the penguins in Mr. Popper's basement. So here's the snow, and then. Can you hold it up just a little bit, please? It's hard to see in the screen. Yep, there okay. we go. There we go. These are the penguins. This is the pool, and this is the snow. And then this penguin has a fish in its mouth, and one jumped out. <sighs> Look at that. That's great. It's just like the scene in the book. And I love that you have the the um, wings on him. That's yeah. perfect. Can I see the fish in his mouth? Is, he, is it drawn on there? No, it's clay. Oh, I see it. Well, hold on. Is the blue one right there? There we go. Okay, so guys, do you see how he's got a blue clay on his beak right yeah, here? And then there's one on the snow. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, bud. Look at that. My other thing is I made a poster board about fun. fun. Oh. And I made this cute little penguin in the middle out of puff, out of cotton balls and paper. So you basically did two pro you did like a research project and you did a sculpture of, of yeah. sorts, huh? Can you tell us what you have on the fun facts about penguins? Can you read those for us, please? Because it's a little hard to see them. The emperor penguin is 47 inches tall. Penguins are very social. They can dive 175 meters to get crew. Penguins evolved to fly underwater. Whoa, 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 whoa. Penguins evolved to fly underwater? Well, it's another. Okay, so they swim, but... I just they swim really fast. Yeah, they swim really fast. Oh, so since they're a bird, it's like they're flying underwater because they're swimming so fast. Mm -hmm. Ah, so it's good language. Okay, good, good, good. The Galapagos penguin is the only penguin in the northern hemisphere. Huh. You'll never see a penguin and polar bears together in the wild. A group of penguins is in the water. Wait, I mean, a group of penguins in the water is called a rat, but on land they're called a waddle. Most birds have hollow, air-filled bones to help them stay light for flight. Penguins adapted with solid bones instead to help them swim. Wait a second, did you guys hear that? Can you read that one again, please? Most birds have hollow, air-filled bones to help them stay light for flight. Penguins adapted with solid bones to help them well what what did he just do what did he just do connection to what we were learning about in science fantastic awesome penguins adapted yes woo all right keep going sorry i interrupted is that the last one yeah i did all okay awesome yeah i did all of them very cool. Awesome. Okay. Thank you very much for telling us a little bit about that. Can you um, maybe give us a few details about some of the, um, or can you tell us a little bit about your sculpture and why you added some of the details you did? Because I noticed there are some details on there that you added probably because it describes what type of bird it is or something like that. So would you pull up your sculpture, kind of hold it up a little bit for us to see and point out some details that you added to, to making the penguins? Well, I put this thing because it was penguins use some penguins have a crest, so I didn't want to make it just like a boring old penguin. Cool. Cool. And, and then, then keep going. I put blue stuff to make it look like water in the Okay. Can you guys see? I think if you pull it over it right towards there. you just a little bit towards you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, so like the swirls in there huh you have like little swirls in there kind of like water kind of has different colors in it cool so that's just like blue paint i made that to make it look like water and then i put the wings on the penguin because without wings it would just be <laughs> 
It wouldn't quite look like a penguin, right? Now, is that penguin on a diving board? Yes. Ah, did you tell us a little bit about that? Okay, so. Are you listening, folks? The penguin is on the diving board, and it's just about a jump in the pool. Okay, awesome. Now, my folks who are online, I'm going to open up the chat, and you may type in questions that you have for Mr. Logan. Also, my kids here in the classroom, if you want to raise your hands, I'll go ahead and call on people to ask Logan questions. Remember, we're doing questions first and then comments and suggestions. So uh, anyone at home, you can go ahead and type in your questions. And then let's see, we've got a couple here, Logan, so I'll go ahead and call on that. Hannah, do you want to go ahead and do a question for me? Um, did he name any of the penguins? Huh? Wait, okay, so the the penguins in the book are deli penguins, and I, I said on the fun pack, facts poster, wait, did you say can you name any of the penguins? So we're, we'll make sure we're, we're speaking up really nice and loudly. She said, were any of the penguins named? So any of the penguins in Mr. Popper's basement? Well, Captain Cook and it's, I'm, there's another girl penguin, but I forgot her name. And oh. then the the chicks, um, I forgot those two. But yeah, the the first one he got was Captain Cook. Awesome. Um, oh goodness. Um, Maddie. How this long did it take you to make both? Of Projects. Grandpa, big truck. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Hannah. How long did it take you to make both the projects? Wait, how long did it take me to read the book? To make both projects. Oh, okay. That took me three days. But I worked a lot during the days. Okay. Um, I think we have one online here. Evan says, did you think that the penguins were mischievous? Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe the chicks. I I'm pretty sure they were, but not really. Well, Captain Cook was like, at the beginning, he, I'm pretty sure he knocked down something. And yeah, I'm pretty sure he was mischievous at that time. Awesome. Ava says, what is your choice paragraph? And what did you say the red stuff on their head? So um, oh. your, what was the topic of your choice paragraph? And what did you say about the red things on their heads? The topic of my paragraph was the deli penguins, like how they dive for fish. Awesome. And then the red stuff on their heads. That was that's the crest. Yep, good stuff. Sydney says, how long did it take you to read? Okay. It took me like one day. I mean Yeah, it was a shorter book. It was a shorter yeah. book, but it's still a classic. There's only one hundred and forty four pages. Gotcha. Addie. Um, have you watched the movie before? Uh uh. No, but I really want to. I want to. Yeah. It's really David. Who is your favorite character from the book? Um, Captain Cook. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. Of the main penguin. Yes, Julius. Okay. Why did you choose Mr. Popper's penguins? Because there are penguins in it. Wow. Mr. Logan's that was, that a birder. Obvious. That was really Logan's a birder. He loves birds. Nick. Okay, you're gonna have to speak loudly so Logan can hear you, okay? Does a Mr. Poppins live in a igloo or a house? Because yeah, he has he has ice and snow in his basement. So does Mr. Popper live in a an igloo or a house? Okay, so he lives in a house, but he opened the windows so that snow could, so that snow could get in, because the penguins are used to Antarctic weather, which is a bunch of snow. Awesome, um, Jalen. 
Um, what would you change about your project? Ooh, good question. Um, I would probably make it a bit more detailed, but... Well, so, I mean, that's something, like, how would you make it more detailed? Do you have any ideas off the top of your head? Um, well, I could have made more fish, and I could have made the pool bigger. Okay, awesome. Kate? Which project was easier to make? The poster about the facts or the kind of scene from the book? Um... It was, they're kind of both the same thing. Okay, so honestly, I think the the poster board, it only took me, like, it didn't take me that long, but yeah, I think the sculpture took me longer. Um, Marinda. Um, um, okay, um. Kate, put this away. How long did it take you to make your project? Oh, didn't someone already ask that? It's the book, right? How long? Oh, okay, I see. Um, it took me. You said project. Yeah. Yes. So, which one are you talking about? Uh, both of them. Um, it took me three days. No, it took me a bit longer than that. It took me like five days. I could tell it took you some time because there's lots of good details and there's lots of different materials. You know, you've got toilet paper rolls for the penguins and then you have construction paper, you have some paint it looks like, you've got styrofoam, cotton balls. It, it took you a while to get all this put together, you can tell. Um, Gabe and then Addie, last thing. Oh, I apologize. And then Ava has something else too. Okay, so it, in the book, how many penguins are there? Um, I don't know. Well, I, I'm pretty sure there's 12, but it's... Okay, and also, uh, Wait, hold on, let, let him finish. He was not done yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 12, but if any of you guys can correct me on that, yeah, you, you guys probably can. And also, if he's if Mr. Popper's letting through through something to let the snow in, where is the snow coming from? It's coming from outside. Is it snow? Where does he live? I don't know. How is it? How is so it it's snow? it might be like winter. Oh, how we have winter and there's snow. Yeah. He's bringing the snow from outside. Addie, uh, did you choose to read the book because penguins were? Birds. Yes, that's the only reason. Julius, why did you make a diving board with the pool? Um, because I thought it'd be fun. Okay, and then Ava says, "What was your favorite part of the book?" Um, probably when they got Captain Cook. Awesome! Wow! All right. Comments and suggestions for Logan. Thank you very much. Oh, actually, no, I have my question. Where do you think your creativity shows the most in your project and paper? Probably making the penguins. Why? Because, I mean, I use toilet paper rolls and, I mean, no, probably this whole thing. So show me some things that you think show your creativity to the best. The fish. Okay, adding the fish. Anything else? And the fact that, I mean, this wasn't in the book, but there might have been a diving board, but probably not. And then, yeah, I put... Since I couldn't put real water in the cup, I just put p blue paint. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, comments and suggestions for Logan. Folks at home, you can go ahead and type that in as well. Jalen? So, um, I really liked your paper and how it, like, kind of hooked me a little. But if I can make a suggestion, 
You may have gave a little bit too much of the book away, like the beginning part. Okay. My mom said that it would be fine because everyone's already read the book almost, but I I don't think that. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I think I think there might be a little much given away, but at the same time, there are a lot of things that happen to the penguins that aren't in here, huh? Yeah. So that could maybe be a good balance. Okay. Um, Avery. Um, I really like both your projects. Good. Yeah. Gabe. Okay, so I like how you made a good size paper, but uh, but if I were to make a suggestion, you you kind of like you were saying one thing and then you cut it cut it off and then start saying another thing. I think that was just the mm -hmm. that was, yeah, yeah yeah never mind never mind the yeah that was just, just the, the Zoom or the Google Meet. Zoom. 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 Um, Addy. You did a really good job with the your detail and um like relating stuff that we're doing in school. Yeah, the relating to what we're doing. Cool. The adaptation part. I was so excited about that. And I also think you related math. Math? Oh. That's what I had written down. Oh, oh like, maybe he mentioned some facts like three hundred sixty thousand like, penguins, thirteen thousand like kilometers. 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 Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, I see that. All right. Um, Hannah. Uh, I I really think your summary is very good and very detailed, but like I thought it gave a good amount away, but not too much. Okay. All right. Thank you, Julius. Um, Did I it up properly? I love the fact that you made two projects instead of just making one one a poster and then one a mm -hmm. diorama but if i had to make a suggestion i would say that you might have been reading a little bit too fast hmm. okay all right we're learning for next time okay kellen last thing over here and then we'll get to our online uh comments and suggestions kellen i like the um the little diorama you made of um, penguin scene but in your paper if i could make a suggestion you were kind of mostly talking about penguins and not the book so i would talk more about the book a little bit so i'm gonna just interject here that remember the third paragraph is your choice paragraph mm -hmm. and you can actually talk about honestly anything that relates to the book did penguins relate to the book mm -hmm. Sure did. Logan, I'm, I'm going to actually put in one of my comments now. I actually love that Logan tried something different and did something unique. Information on the Adelie Penguins. I thought that was really different because quite often people will say what they liked about the book or like what they disliked. And, you know, those are things that we hear over and over and over again. Instead, Logan took something that he loves, which is birds, and he incorporated that into his, pro into his project. I said, you did a great job with your projects. You did something that interests you and that meant you were really invested. He did a good job on this project because he loves birds and he loves um, uh, learning about them. And so he combined that passion into his project, which I thought was a great idea. So Kellen, I like that you are thinking and, and giving advice. Thank you for doing that. Um, I will disagree that I, I thought it was great because it related to what was happening in the the book. Now, if he had talked about horses, that would have been a little bit different. Or if he had talked about candy, that would be a little bit different. Or if he talked about um, the the fish. Well, are there fish in Mr. Popper's penguins? Yes. But are they a big part of it? No. So finding something that's related to it, I think is, is just fine. So thank you, Kellen. Um, Ava says, I love your creativity, but if you could have talked a bit more enthusiastically when you read, read the paper and told less about the book. So using a little bit better expression is her, her suggestion. That's not really my type. I well, mean, I, I thought you did a good job. I thought you did a really good job with that, bud. Okay, and Sydney says, I liked how you based the choice paragraph on birds and your projects were very detailed. Great comment, Sydney. I agree. Definitely agree. Nick, do you have a question or a comment or a suggestion? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Anyone else? All right, then let's get to Miss I's stuff. So, Logan, I have lots of notes here. Um, 
you had some really good vocabulary in there, especially in your bird paragraph where you said, I'm an avid birder. I love those words. And then you said foraging, foraging grounds, great words. Contain, instead of saying colonies can have over 36, 360,000 penguins, you said contain. That was great. And then I love the fact of on land, a group of penguins is called a waddle and on the water, it's called a raft. That's a cool fact to put in there. I really like that. Um, your topic sentence of reasons why your book is considered a classic. I hope my friends are paying attention to this because this actually can help you with your papers as well. All this, this advice and information I'm giving can help you as well. I hope you're remembering this. Um, you had a great topic sentence of why it's a, cl a classic because you included your reasons. You said a classic book, in my opinion, is a book that appeals to all ages can be read multiple times, has an award, and it's funny. And then you went and and said your evidence for those things. Mr. Popper's Penguins is a classic because it is enjoyed a lot by a lot of people of many ages. That goes back to a book that appeals to all ages. So you, saw, you said all your reasons in the first sentence, and then your evidence were used with transition words. For example, also, in addition, bam, good stuff, buddy. That was great. Um, you're something else. I adored the fact that you researched penguins. Now, if I, um, if you had just come with a poster about the penguins, I would not have been thinking that would show your creativity as much. I think the poster was neat, but I'm glad you did something else with it too, because I think your creativity showed more in your sculpture or your picture that, or the, the sculpture you created than the poster. But the poster had lots of great information as well. So I'm glad you did both. Um, I thought the creativity shown in how you put together the, the penguins. Um, you underlined your title in your paper. That's fantastic. I've been begging people to do that all quarter and you've done it, good job. I thought your voice and pacing were great and you did a good job with um, keeping it from going too fast because you, when you get excited, your voice speeds up and you get really, really excited and you just have to get it out before anyone can even understand it. So I was really grateful that you um, slowed down and took a deep breath and went really slowly. I loved that. Um, you did a great job with your transition words and your paper was very well written. I could hear Logan in your paper. I could hear your voice, you know, I could, and not just cause you read it, but like I could hear you in your paper, which I thought was great. Fantastic job, buddy. Good, good job. So everyone give them a little round of applause, please. Awesome. Okay, now for my folks online, so Logan, I'm gonna unpin you here. For my folks online, we actually have to start another Google Meet in order to do Marina's project because I have to put you on my laptop. So could you please, uh, in just a second, could you please log off and then click on the link to log on again in about two minutes? Because I have to get my laptop on a stool so you can see Marinda's project, okay? Daria, you have a question? I am so sorry, I accidentally came on the Google Meet late because I got so much into my art project and I was having fun and I just forgot about the Google Meet. And